Welcome to this introduction to the graphic interface of the simulation because in Rintinus. The first component of our interface is this black window which will be this, the display of all the behavior of our simulation. The second component uh, we have here are some panels that will inform us about the uh, status of some uh, variables of our simulation. Uh, next, there are some buttons that will uh, control parts of our uh, simulation. We have also uh, some sliders here, here, and some switches. Here, we have a, a big panel, a graphic panel, where the system uh, is going to plot the current uh, status of uh, some critical uh, variables, especially the energy and the weight of the animals. One of the most important component uh, are these two buttons, the button setup and the button go. Uh, as his uh, name uh, says, uh, the button setup mm, will initialize uh, all the basic variables uh, to start the simulation. The button go will start running the simulation. Uh, pressing go, the simulation starts, pressing it again, it will pause or stop the simulation. Before uh, pressing setup, uh, it's necessary uh, to uh, change value, put the desired value of us. Uh, here we support uh, to a hundred houses or one. We have this uh, quantity uh, of animals we can put in this space. Also, we have the value of the net productivity. Uh, it could, will be from uh, 53 and 3. These values are taken from the observation made in making them. Uh, so we can basically do that. Let's try to put uh, maybe, maybe 10 ounces. We can put uh, maybe value of 52. We can put setup. And the system has put here. 10 individuals in our space and in this moment we are programming the system to put only grass in this uh, zone of the world. This part uh, is empty so uh, the idea is to for the animals to uh, search the food in this part. We can uh, disable the visualization of the grass here uh, with this uh, switch. We put he go, the grass is out, and switching here, we can enable and disable the visualization of the grass. We pick here go, and the simulation is stopped. We can pick here reset, and put uh, the system in empty in zero state again. Let's pick here off again. Uh, the function of this uh, switch is to uh, control the way the system is mm, will put the agents, the animals, in the space. If run pause is on, uh, I'm going to put here more, maybe five. Animals are uh, put mm, uh, in an even position, even spread in the other end that uh, space. Uh, if I disable that, the animals uh, will be put randomly in the same manner that the, the, um, the anterior, but in this case they are concentrated around the center. So um, we have these two possibilities to position the animals. Okay, let's activate the show in the grass and making a set up again. It is important uh, to say that the colors of the patches of each cell we have here could be from white, uh, from dark, in tonalities of green. Uh, it will represent the quantity of food of grass is in uh, each cell. It is uh, controlled by this switch, the entropy. So in this moment a white square will represent a quantity of 52, uh, 52 kilograms by square meter. 
so if we change here for example and we mix it up again in this moment a white say, square will represent an EPP of three, uh, 4 kilograms for a uh, square meter ok now how to check of functioning of our model uh, ok we have to reset this mm, let's put maybe um, only two animals maybe two uh, two we're going uh, to put this off set up and we have here two animals ok the idea is that the animals we're going mm, to look for in his environment uh, for grass for patches full of grass and when it finds uh, one the, the animals will try to eat to eat to compensate the loss of energy uh, by means of uh, walking and by means of his uh, basalt uh, energy expenditure. So we we become to make here. They become to move. In this moment, they are eating of the cells that has uh, grass in this moment. For example, here. They're in this moment, eating. Mm -hmm. As you can see. There uh, are an indicator that shows that it's night and day, night and day, and we you can see that um, the animals becomes of color uh, from gray to to red, especially this one. When it is uh, a colored, in this case red, uh, it's because it is day. When this is gray, it's because it's night. The idea is the animal only eats uh, food, only its feet when uh, it's of day. When it's of night, the animal uh, remains uh, quiet, but it uh, has a, a loss of energy because of the uh, basal energy expenditure. You can see also that the grass, uh, the color of grass, is uh, turning black uh, when the animal is eating, and when the animal go, goes away, uh, with time, the the cell returns to his original uh, level. Of grass. Okay, so the idea is that the animal is looking for a uh, food, 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 food. Okay, we can stop here for a while. Uh, if we activate this, the animal will show in this part. I will go to stop for a moment. In this part is showing its current weight, and in this moment is showing the quantity of food. Uh, it gets from the last cell. Yes. So if we have m more asses, we're going to reset this. 25. Activate maybe. Okay. Definitely. We're going to see that in this part, the animals that are in this part will show the two quantities, the uh, the weight and um, the food ha has eaten. And this part, uh, they only um, will show its weight and zero for the food they have eaten. For example, yes, 200 uh, kilograms and zero uh, food. But in this place, for example, mm, for example uh, here, 0 0.15 uh, could be the quantity of food is uh, Tamaguchi. This has has uh, Okay, so that's the uh, the meaning of the values that are uh, activated with this switch. You can put it away. Okay. Okay, we have here two slides that will show us uh, two parameters that tr uh, will try to um, to change the behavior of the Tamaguchi's of the agents. The first one will be the boring. Will be the boring. Normally, if this parameter is zero. The idea is that the animal will be in a cell with food all the time. The the cell will be uh, with food. If the animal is plenty of food, uh, he will not going to to eat. But normally he will be in the same place. If boring is zero, the animal will be always in the same uh, cell and always will move when the cell is uh, out of food and uh, he will need more uh, food to eat but if we change this this is the possibility 
if it is one the possibility of the animal that if it is plenty of food and if boring is one he will jump to another uh, cell because he's bored if we uh, variate this possibility for example here it will be maybe a 50 50 the possibility that it could stay in the same uh, cell or will jump to other cell let's put it in, in zero hunger will be another variable uh, which will mm, vary the intensity of, uh, of the quantity of food that the animal are going to, to feed consume in each uh, time uh, cycle so uh, if we put here hike to a lot of five the animal will be uh, eating too much and if it's here the animal will be eating uh, not too much so the idea is that mm, normally uh, variating this variable and this variable the animal should be stayed in an equilibrium uh, maintaining a, a life here we have uh, a plot that will show us the energy of all the Tamagotchis we're going to reset here and put it to again yes to um, set up again uh, maybe other ok this is good we have an indigo in the good piece this is out when we begin the simulation we are lo looking here this blue line is showing the quantity of energy of two Tamaguchis here you can see an upper boundary maybe is the plot of one individual and a lower boundary is the plot of the other uh, individual the yellow line is not too much clear here uh, it will be the, the mean, the average of all the, the, the energies look at this moment the animals uh, are uh, losing his height, uh, his, his weight very very fast because they are hunger if I adjust here putting them to each more, eat more uh, the curve will be uh, more stable hmm? if I put in them to eat each, uh, more more and more this curve will uh, grow up again so the idea is for the uh, next uh, stage of this project is to control this part automatically uh, using for that a uh, physiologic this green line will represent the limit of the lean weight of the animal and this line is the critical weight that could be the 70% of the weight the, the lean weight and if uh, an individual gets this point uh, dies die automatically is the idea look at this moment uh, the two individuals has uh, achieved a good level and they are uh, healthy again so this should return maybe an intermediate state okay mm, these two uh, panels are uh, showing the instantaneous change uh, in the food and in the in the weight the animal is uh, uh, feeding this is m in construction of for precisely for utilities in the automatically um, control of this variable so uh, we we're going to ignore this for this moment this control uh, it's only to control um, to say to this panel uh, how many times he has to redraw the, the graph so we can see so uh, this environment is very good for only two individuals we can stop here and put a more uh, realistic situation maybe 41 individuals and NPP maybe not too good stop I put them more centered and see what happens Look at the daily move. In the night they are not moving. 
and note that the, the, indi the individuals that are in a good position they try to stay uh, um, in the same place most of the time while the individuals that are uh, in a no good place they are crazy looking for food if we augment uh, grow this variable we shall see some uh, change in the behavior of these individuals look that in this moment this upper boundary is showing uh, the energy of the most fortunate uh, animals who, who are in this place and this lower boundary is showing uh, the energy of this not as fortunate, unfortunate animals so it could be good maybe uh, to grow the hunger in order to try to compensate this the idea is that if if, if this animal does not uh, find the way to get here, they are going to die.